At this time, we're going to allow questions from the audience for our sheriff candidates. If our first audience member would address the podium, please state your name, what town you're from, and if your question is for both candidates or just one. My name is Matthew Shutter, and I'm from Penn Forest Township. And my question is for Sheriff Notstein. Uh, you were quoted in the, the paper, sir, about comments made about the Oath Keepers, that they are a radical group. And I would like to know, would you like to comment on that? Would you like to clarify that, sir? Because I think protecting the Constitution is not radical, sir. I absolutely believe in the 912 people and what they try to achieve. However, you have some people in there who wish to harm the first. If you would look back on the record and find uh, Sheriff Mack made the statement, I am, I am going to praise the first sheriff to shoot any IRS person that comes on their property. That is not a, a, a sane man. That's more of a Hitler type attitude towards 912. 912 people are not radical people. Only some people who lead in that position are, are those kind of people. And uh, also, while you're up, if uh, any other law enforcement agents are, that are here are with the sheriff's departments, elected officials, please stand up. Anyone that takes an oath to the Constitution that's here tonight. And I understand that you could uh, introduce yourself, tell us where you're at, what you do, and uh, just make it, you know, so that the audience can get familiar with you, please. I'll start off. Uh, I was already announced as Sheriff Nostein Carbon County by Lieutenant Dave Midas. Uh, my name is Steve Armbrister. I'm from Carbon County. Uh, I'm a police officer in Cookstown, and I'm also a little keeper. I'm P.J. Simons, Lafonte of School County. Scott Taylor, Sergeant with School County Sheriff's Office. Corporal Greg Emery, Pennsylvania State Trooper, Bethlehem Barracks. I'm Joseph Grudy, the Sheriff of Schuylkill County, and I was a police officer for 31 years prior to becoming Sheriff. Charlie Drees, Deputy, Schuylkill County. I'm Keith Breswick, Deputy, Schuylkill County. Donald Hoffman, I'm a sergeant with Bethlehem Police Department. Donald. most of you. How many of you have read Sheriff Mack's book? You plan to read it tonight, I'm sure. And you've uh, uh, learned all about him on his website. I will just say this to make it very brief. He's a wonderful American. He's a true patriot. He loves this country and he loves this constitution. And we are indeed privileged to have the former sheriff of of, um, I almost said Maricopa, <laughs> Graham County, that's Sheriff Joe, of Graham County, Arizona, the one and only, and I'm really proud to introduce him, Sheriff Richard Mack. Our federal tax system, this is President Ronald Reagan, this isn't from my case, this is our federal tax system, is in short utterly impossible, utterly unjust, and completely counterproductive. It reeks with injustice and is fundamentally un-American and deserves rebellion. The only trouble is Ronald Reagan didn't do anything about this. 
and no president has before or since, since this Gestapo was put in place in our country. All of us have friends and family who have been abused by this organization. My father was. He retires from the FBI and two years later they randomly audit him. We had no money. We were middle class people. One car, three bedroom home, and no motorcycles, no boats, no toys, no nothing like that. And they said my dad owed $6,000. And he spent a year and a half of his life and all his life savings trying to prove his innocence. Finally, with his lawyer and accountant, they proved the IRS had lied and that my dad actually was owed by them $600. They owed him. They said, we'll just call it even and left and went to some other poor sap. Now, if you think that's American justice, then you're living in the wrong country. Because no other cop in this country gets to conduct random audits. And yet, we make exceptions for the IRS so they can come after us with their ruthless rules and laws and regulations. And I'll tell you what, if I had been sheriff, when they went after my dad, there would have been two IRS agents spending a few nights in the Mac Hotel. <laughs> what they did to my dad was criminal. And, they, and Jennifer Long and other IRS agents testified before Congress in 1998, testified before Congress under oath that the IRS routinely does what they did to my father to citizens all the time. And they said specifically that they fabricate evidence against citizens who they know cannot financially defend themselves. This is what our country does to us. And they have continued to allow this. And I say there is a great place to stop this. And that's with local police and local sheriff telling, telling the IRS, you're not doing that here anymore. We know random audits are wrong. I don't care who said you could do them. We, in Pennsylvania, who enforce the law here, are not going to allow it anymore. There's an answer for you. Now, this is Judge John Roll, in my case, and he got it. Mac is thus forced to choose between keeping his oath or obeying the act. Isn't that amazing? I didn't tell him that. I testified at that hearing, but I never said that because he looked at the case and he understood the principle involved. My own government was forcing me to violate my oath, to support an unconstitutional act, that they were gonna force me to participate in uh, enforcing a federal gun control scheme against my citizens. 